it's Kate and welcome to my latest blog post. <laughs> I am so sorry that I haven't been posting for all this time and it's just been crazy to be honest with all the moving and everything but I hope that from now on I'll be posting at least on video a week so I will see you more often. And there are two things that I wanted to say in this video is like thank you so much for all the new subscribers. It's more than 2,000 of you already and it just it's crazy. Thank you guys. I really appreciate all the support and it makes me really happy. <laughs> and the second thing is Merry Christmas. It's almost Christmas and I just hope that you have the most wonderful holiday ever. I actually shot another video to publish here on YouTube but things just happened starting with the fact that we were in one, apart one apartment first. Um, we're still living in an Airbnb because we moved to Italy now and moving from uh, big house into a 35 square meter apartment is just yeah it's been an experience <laughs> i still have to get used to it but um it's just a temporary thing so we're gonna get there and then the internet went away so there was no internet like for a week i was waiting to upload it and i couldn't so i decided just to redo the whole thing yes so we moved and we're having christmas here we decided not to go see any family this year because it's just been so many, so much traveling. I took, I think, five planes in total in a matter of one week, and it's been crazy. So <laughs> now we have Ellie with us already. She's been at my mom's, but we're gonna celebrate Christmas in five together with Chloe, who is in shock of everything that's happening. Chloe is our cat, if you didn't know. So, and Coco, she's doing really well, and I think she remembers we actually went to see her friends and our friends that are still here in Turin because this is the city where I studied for four years. So we're kind of back to where we were at the moment. And as this is a vlog entry, I'm not going to talk a lot about art, but there are so many things that I want to do. And as soon as Ellie goes to the nursery, I will be publishing a lot more stuff. So the first thing that I decided is that I'm going to make a weekly vlog entry so you can keep up with everything that's happening. Just to update you on some things, we actually found an apartment it has ginormous it's like 150 square meters and yeah there was like even this like closed uh, balcony thing that's like 30 square meters on its own and i actually saw myself setting up a studio there but i don't know if it's gonna pan out still another thing is that we moved here and it's the period of christmas and basically italians they go on a long holiday like a long holiday and no one wants to work so even the letting agencies that are here, they just like, oh yeah, we rented everything, we don't have anything else. And you would think, you ask people, like, maybe you have something else if that apartment that I'm calling you about is already taken. Maybe you have something else and they're like, no, we don't. And I'm like, maybe I can leave you my phone number. Uh, no, we don't need it. So <laughs> it makes you think like, come on, people, work. So um, yeah, we moved. Then another thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, actually, it's kind of stressful. We had 15 packages and we used DPD. Never again in my life will I use DPD. So they broke my computer. They shattered it. And thankfully they broke only, like it's a thing, I think it's Dell, and it has the screen like with the computer all together. And they shattered the screen, which actually has like cracks going all through it. And it's like completely broken, but nonetheless it works. So at least, thankfully, it works. They were like, oh yes, but you wrote that in those packages there are books and clothes and stuff. And like, not to get into an argument, this is just really stressful. But I said, what is the difference if it was books or clothes or anything? Because the packages from being square, they became shapeless. It was just like a thing. Like, they broke them completely. And when I saw that the computer works, I was like, exhaling <laughs> and then I thought about my pastels because I had my pastels inside one of those boxes also and I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god I was afraid that I would find dust in the box and I bought um for the set of my pastels I bought this um box for the pastels from Jackson's and guess what like 95 percent of my pastels survived the trip I know I should have taken with them with me in the luggage and 
but by the end of it, we still did hand in the luggages when we were traveling, so we had only Coco and Chloe. I was scared to find out that they were all broken. And I had a set of Unison pastels, by the way, which was in the original box, and those survived the trip, like, perfectly. So they didn't get broken or anything. So, yeah, yay, <laughs> I have my art supplies now. It's been just hectic also taking all of the stuff out of the boxes because we have half of them open and some stuff inside, some stuff out, and it's just, yeah, <laughs> living on the boxes. But we're going to get there as soon as we settle in good, then I will be able to continue with as many videos as I did previously. And, yeah, at the moment we're searching for the apartment and... I wanted to go to both the academy and to the design school that I'm actually interested in. But yeah, with Ellie, because Ellie, she came um, with my mom immediately after we moved into the second apartment. It's just been so busy. Still haven't managed to do that. But that's like the goal <laughs> of uh, staying here. And what else? What else? What else? I can't think of anything else at the moment but also um about traveling that was fun <laughs> we took a plane from london we had to get to london we rented the car because we didn't have a car so we rented a car to get to london and i was like okay chloe's gonna start meowing and she did and she was like meowing all the way halfway halfway not all the way to the airport and i think she was so shocked that she kept quiet for the rest of it and we could bring the cat into the cabin with us, but Coco had to go into the hold. And it was actually really nice because they let us pass through all the controls um, without actually doing the queue because we were we were with the animals and the trip went okay. The only thing is that Coco, every time that we would move around the airport and when you're in the airport, the dog has to, any animal has to stay inside the crate. They can't go out. So <laughs> every time that we took you in one step, she would bark inside the crate like crazy. All the airport heard us. <laughs> in fact, all the people that had anything to do with us, like moving inside the airport, they were like, yeah, that's your dog, we know. <laughs> so she was barking. And then we found a solution. We actually covered her with my jacket. And she stopped barking. Like, she didn't bark as much. But then we traveled. It was good. And I think the cat was okay until the part where it started to get really cold here. So the weather is like spring, but it gets around the zero sometimes, like to the zero um, Celsius. So it was actually even snowing one day, but yeah, it's not snow um, as you would find it like in Northern Europe, for example. But and the cat doesn't want to go out anymore. <laughs> so she used to go out. We let her out because we are in a very quiet part of the city. And now she just stays permanently behind the boxes under the bed. And she comes out to eat and to go use the toilet. That's it. <laughs> so I hope she's going to get back to normal. So the cat is permanently scared, I think, now. I think we traumatized the cat. But in any case, it's a lot better than having to give her to anyone else. She's my cat, <laughs> so she will deal with it. It's going to be fine. And yes, so basically, oh, also about Christmas. We're kind of not giving gifts to each other this Christmas, but it's fine. Um, I think I can deal with it. Most importantly is that I bought a present for Ellie. And we bought like two things because in my family, we used to give presents on. Oh, there she goes. Come here. This is the traumatized cat. Meet Chloe. I don't know if I showed her in any other videos, but yeah, this is Chloe. And there she goes. That's it. Enough, right? You ate, you're happy. <laughs> so um, I bought a present for Ellie and um, as we're giving gifts on Christmas and on New Year's, we have two presents. And one of them is, uh, how is his name? Oh my God, the hairy dog from Pets. Dick. There, Duke. So she has Max and she has also a Duke. And then we bought a uh, For Real Friends unicorn. It's like this unicorn, like, robot thing <laughs> that actually uh, reacts to you talking and, like, touching him. So it's kind of a pet unicorn thing. It costs, like, a small fortune. But <laughs> Come on, we're staying here for Christmas. So at least she gets an awesome gift. And that's basically it. I will keep you guys updated. I hope that I will be able to kind of 
stay on top of it and actually produce more videos because now the problem is that Ellie doesn't take naps during the day and it's really difficult. She's like awake from 8 in the morning until 10 in the, in the afternoon, in the evening. <laughs> so I really don't have any time left. Um, and the only time that I had left, like free, if I put some cartoons on for her, I was actually searching for the house. So I'm so, so, so sorry for not posting any more videos, but it's temporary. I'm going to be back, I promise. Um, and I hope that this video is going to start the weekly thing. And again, I just wanted to say thank you so much again for all the new subscribers and thank you for the old subscribers as well to, for sticking with me, even though I didn't post anything for a long time, like for a month. Really, really happy about that. Thank you guys. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And I hope that in the next year, we're gonna meet a lot more often online. So yeah, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Bye.